Welcome back everybody to No Creek Farms here on Farming Simulator 17. What do we have folks? We got a cat out in the field. Literally a cat. <laughs> Little whirly bird on the back. Alright, here's our messed up field. I'll get my hood up here. Now this is our messed up field here where corn and beans was planted together. Wasn't paying attention with the planter. And it tends to work that way. Alright, this thing's a whirly bird. And what it does, as you can see this trench right here, folks. A tractor will usually straddle the ditch back up into it. And I turn this thing on. Now, this thing don't have the full function as a real one. But uh, it, it, it does pretty good. As you can see right there. It's spinning, and then it usually throws the dirt to the right side of the tractor. And uh, there you go. As you can see, it's doing it now. And uh, what you do is with the tractor, you just kind of follow the slope of the ground where you think the water's going to run. And yes, it does destroy some of the crops, but uh, it helps get some waters off the field. All right, I think that should do that way. You just kind of look out across the field and find uh, like where it comes together. And you can see how that kind of slopes right there. And there's one that goes around the other way there. Um. Usually you do it with the track tractor when all the crops are off the field, but I love these two, so. And it kind of, to me, it looks like it goes right back around here. Yeah, see right there in the front, kind of narrows. And it looks like it goes that way a little bit, but we're not going to worry about that. This, this is a kind of demonstration to show y'all. Uh, my friend Junior, he's wanting to see it. So Junior, here you go. And shout out to you, good old buddy. Uh, look at my mess I made. The planter is planting corn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these trees aren't going to let me see. But uh, let's just go ahead and... Now, the first time it usually don't hurt because the beans ain't tall enough to... They'll just bounce back. But I see another little ditch right here. So we're going to run one out that way. And we're going to call this done. Um, yeah, this field's going to be messed up with all this corn and stuff in it. All right, we're going to back up to this right here. See how far back I can get. Oh, don't want to get in the tree limbs. All right. There we go. And uh, kind of swerves over this way, looks like, and then back up this way. And this is just going to be for uh, demonstration. Um, it don't really work and stuff, but I wish it would. You can actually watch water and stuff goes off of it. And I think that's going to be the last one, folks. So we'll send this guy back to the shop. And uh, we got to do some spraying up here. Uh, I'm still thinking about the uh, plowing of the big grass field. Um, it would really help us out if it was plowed. It would be recognized in the field. And we'd just be able to hire workers and stuff better. 
There's our sprayer. I'm just going to drop, stop this guy right here. Let's hop on. Oh, I'm up in the air, Anna. Back down. 28% growing on the soybeans. This is supposed to be the new sprayer with the sprayer add-on, but I can't seem to get it to work for some reason. And also, it doesn't uh, show it's spraying here. I'll show you in a second. Uh, get started here. I ain't going to use a GPS, which I, I need to. But see, you don't see no sprayer thing on it. Uh, and that kind of I was wondering, or yeah, I was off. I was way off. I didn't need GPS. <laughs> I already had it set up from last time, but I want to hit no trees. But it's supposed to shut off. Uh, are you able to shut it off? Um. You know, like if you only need half of the boom, but I don't know how to activate that. So if it does do that, I wouldn't mind it not having a little sprayer effect, but I would like for it to shut off. Now, I did increase the speed on this because seven mile an hour on these booms, they can go a whole lot faster than that in real life. All right. I'm just going to give it one more round across here, or through across the end. But well, like right here, we can shut half that boom off, but I don't know how. So anybody out there, any modders knows how to activate, I guess I can go to farm a similar website and go to the sprayer add-on mod I think and download it I think it tells how inside I'm not for sure so I could probably do that I didn't think about that um but yeah uh, I've been pushing all kind of buttons and Trying to see if uh, get to work or not. All right. And also, we gotta feed the cows. Um, I already got some bales and stuff out, which I probably need to do that before they got too bad. And then, of course, up there at the top right corner, you can <laughs> tell what time I'm recording this. Midnight, folks. Uh, seven after midnight. All right, I'm just going to grab this line here. See what the worker does. Oh, he's spraying off real low. Who we got there? We got Colin doing spraying. Thank you, brother, for coming out spraying. Even though you're a woman. Huh. Hey. Sorry, brother. That's uh, AI uh, workers for you. Alright, she's going the right way, or actually he, is Colin Julian, that's a he. Oh, I'm going to miss a little bit. Hey, you should have lowered that, then turn it on. Anyway. Um, we're going to take the truck and get rid of that plow right there. Well, we'll do that later. Um, I didn't clean the cows once, but it looks like they're dirty again. Oh yeah, we gotta get this guy back to the farm. All right, here's what I want to do. Um, as you can see, we need a mix. Um, it's not completely out. Um, let's see if we can empty that first. Um, no, we can't. 
Mm, I'm afraid that's going to throw it off. We're going to try it anyway. It's supposed to be one straw. Ah. Forgot gotta be up higher. Oh, that's way too much. I hope that didn't. Oh, uh, well, hope that don't push it back in. Oh, it's gonna roll. Oh, man. Let me get it out real quick. Um, one silage. Yep. Yeah, let's try this again. There we go. Perfecto. And, um, hello. I was making sure I wouldn't hit that tractor back behind and, uh, Oh Lord, Mr. Blue having a bad day poking things. Oh, 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 come on. Oh. That's all right, you just stay right there. I think I got you this time. Right in the center. Tractor just a little too fast. All right, that brought the straw down half. Now we need two grass bales, or at least that's where it's supposed to be. Oh, please don't fall off. <laughs> wow. Don't go behind the tractor, please. Thank you. All right, um, I got lots more mowing to do. All right, if I had hold one more, uh, that will be perfect. If not, I've done a, a bad mix. And I think you can let it out and restart over, but and that's kind of like a, a mess to do, so, uh, we might get a bigger one of these. All right, that is a perfect mix. Everything's green. Okay, Colin Jones completed his task, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got rations, 100%. Good. All right, we're going to back this under the shed. Um, let me check something here real quick. We are still three days out from selling the soybeans. <sighs> I can't wait. Uh, we got a lot of money right now. Um, I know we got kind of a lot of tractors right now, but there's like a tractor I want to buy, a plow, and a combine. We'll probably keep the combine we got. Um, see if we can buy just a little bit bigger corn header for it. I think we can get by with uh, like an eight, or eight or whatever it is. Maybe I don't. I don't know. We'll try and see. You know, I thought I lowered that auger down all the way. That's back up where it's supposed to be. kind of park this on the side and we also need to get a mower uh, I'm gonna leave that right there and I need a mower put some fuel in this tractor while we got it we're probably gonna keep this in for a little bit uh, while we're doing that we're gonna look at the mowers here um, those are two we got, the sign and the side mower. Um, I don't know if we can use this or not. Um, we can try it and see. It's only $300. Let's engine setup, power pack, beast mode. Uh, 
PTO hydraulic. Let's go PTO hydraulic beast mode. Made it 900. And uh, we'll have uh, the guys bring that out to us. And also, I want to get um, this bat wing. And maybe uh, this one or that one. Let's try this and we might end up getting both. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get both. We we got plenty of money right now, so if we don't need it, we can always I'm gonna leave it red. If we don't need it, we can always return it, get some more money back. Um Let's go check on Colin Julian and see if he got that spraying done. Um Beans, 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 beans. Oh, he would be off radar, wouldn't he? What is this? One? Is that the guy? Oh, that's why. Oh, those are. That's why I didn't see him on radar. Huh. Enter. Alright, I don't see any spots he missed on this end. go this way a little bit yep, no spots let's go on this way check because I think we got one through over here that we didn't do and we we done spraying got a little spot right there and a little spot right here that's where I left and uh, this right here, okay. I figure we uh, do this because like, uh, if we miss a stage, uh, we can use this with the narrow tires to go over the crops and it won't damage them in case we happen to miss some like we did. All right, fold this bad boy up. But yeah, I upped it to 14 mile an hour. That's about the right speed. Um, some of them does do about 20, but with this pump system, it's probably about 14 fast enough. All right, um, we're going to send this bad boy back to the shop. I should have been doing that while I was sitting there waiting for it. Uh, uh, see f16 to farm and drive course stop at the last whoa nelly i don't know why it does that if you get on up here a little bit pass a couple of the waypoints and drive course that does fine All right, stop at the last uh let's see let's go this way we got the 4640 on the uh, the fertilized sprayer here. Um, probably just going to fill it up and get it ready. Let's see here. F16 to farm. Next nearest course. This bad boy is going to get put on the planter. But since our planting is done. Whoa, whoa. Uh, come on now. Let's do it right for our fans. There we go. Stop at the last point. Now we got this guy here hooked up to the fill cultivator. Uh, we're just going over it, greasing it, make sure everything's right from the story. You know, sometimes they come in and they're not greased and stuff. This thing looks hunky dory. I can't wait to test it out. And we got it on the uh, 380 CVX Magnum by uh, I don't know what that says, y'all. 
must be custom modern, but that's a, a different one there. I don't know. But I wish I had Mr. Blue on it right there instead of that. But anyway, um, I got to figure out something on this. We might just hook a tractor to this and instead of use this, and I don't know. This one's supposed to be down low. Um, anyway, let's see if this tractor, if our mower is around back yet. We'll hook up to one of them and try it. Um, we gotta get those bells, uh, this episode. Uh, whoa! Oops, I was looking at down at the time. I'm 21 minutes in. Oh, awesome. I gotta try the big one first on the tractor. Let's just go and see. I hope it mulches. Oh, please tell me it goes faster than three. You're kidding me, right? Oh, it leaves grass behind. Which grass does disappear? I'm trying to find a spot that ain't been mowed yet. Right out here. Yeah, but hey, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Blue on the lawnmower. Uh oh. Oh, look at there. It shoots out the side. How neat is that? We'll mow the pasture with this thing, folks. I wonder if it pushes the stuff over when you back up. Now, once it laid down, it won't throw it no more. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. I like it. We'll probably keep this. Let's go out here. I don't think our yard mows. Oh, no, our yard don't mow. How about this here, I don't think this mows either. Now, hey, but we can go out here and mow the. I already mowed this with the big mower. Whoops. Let's go this way. There we go, folks. There we go. We found a way to mow it. Yee haw, 12 mile an hour. Uh, I got to I got to Ha <laughs> ha right there folks. <laughs> it's got to think. Whoa. Crossing the ditch. Mow the roadside here. Now that side mower that I got it will uh mow without leaving anything behind all right we probably keep this and the mow around the buildings and stuff yeah this thing gets down boogie don't it see if we can fit it in here in the shop here Yeah, we'll park it right here. Perfect. 
I love it. Diesel too. All right. Um. Okay, we gotta get this to the store, to the market. Instead of putting on the blue trailer, we're just gonna go sell it as is. Um, and that'll probably make our 30 minute mark. Um, as far as the crone and the baler, we'll probably catch roadsides that we can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot this thing's, uh, very sensitive now. Uh, I got the uh, bales on the trailer instead of, uh, magically on there where I can get the top ones. I wonder. I want to hit A. And then redo it that way. That way it should be just a couple bales. And yes, folks, we got three trailers now. I don't know if y'all saw that in the last episode, but might end up getting four. This truck does pull it pretty good. Now, in real life, I don't know. I probably won't pull it that good in real life, but this is a game. Um, I think it's 60000 per load. Somewhere in there. And as you can see, I got this here real good. I bailed it up. I took a few trees right there out. We're going to mow that on the way out. Um, yeah, I've just been having uh, Jason and Joff and them clean up some of the trees and stuff around. Now, folks, right there, straight through. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of the ditch, Mr. Blue. All the way over this way for a while is nothing but straight through land. I had them come in, take the ponds out. They filled them up. And uh, I know grass don't grow that fast, but uh, in this world it does. Actually, I think it's uh, just a bare spot. And just for the record, our wheat is not ready. Let's check it real quick. We still got a long time before that wheat comes off. We got six days, probably seven. Um, so, uh, good six days after the day, put it that way. So, that uh, gives me time to finish mowing the things over there. See those two fields? That green field way over there? Just north of that is two grass fields. And, um, I gotta get them mowed. And then I'll be able to fast forward time. But like I said, I want to work on the cows. I'd like to buy a little bit more. That's why I'm in the process wanting these bales hauled off and get the money as fast as possible. Cause we're going to be doing a lot of work on our fields. These fields here ain't too bad mowing, but that big one, it, it takes a lot of time when I could uh, plow it, plant grass. But I need to test that though. I really need to test it before I do it. I, I'm afraid if I dust it all up. <laughs> Won't be able to plant no grass. But this map ain't like autumn oaks. Autumn oaks, you cannot plant no grass on it. It will not grow. And I planted half of a field and learned that the hard way. Uh, this field here to my left is corn, I believe. And I would like to come in here and have Jason, uh, Mr. Yankee, calling them to uh, come in here and rip this fence out down through here. And that way we can uh, use this to mow too. And that's why I want a bat wing mower. Or maybe a small wind roller or something. That way we can get the grass and stuff down through here. 
All right, folks, we are at a 30 minute mark. I figure I've done been up here by now, but as soon as we get up there and sell this, uh, the episode's gonna be over with because I need to get in bed. I got paperwork I gotta do in the morning and send to the doctor. Uh, they're gonna schedule me an MRI for my back and find out why my legs are hurting all the time. Um, but of course, you know how doctors are. He did say my weight. I'm like, yeah, well, my legs wouldn't be hurting. I wouldn't have this weight because I'd be outside doing things. And he goes, yeah, you got a point. So, uh, anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get back to farming. Let's slow down for this curve. About, yeah, about 28 mile an hour. It's about fast enough around that for this big old load. And also, when we get the wheat, um, it's probably going to go for seeds. Um, and that's where we need a lot of money to buy liquid fertilizer. Well, that way we can treat our own seeds. Um, I really don't know. I want to pick up enough fuel to. Whoa, 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 whoa. It started to. That's one thing about it. I have to swing wide. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um, let's see here. A. X. Be on that sign. Gotta swing around wide like this. Well, a couple of those on top done so. $820 for each bale this time. Well, it's like a thousand something, I believe. But still, you know, it's free money. Well, not free, it costs fuel. Wear and tear on the tractors. One more trailer. Let's see, 326, 354, so about 24,000. That's really low. That's really low this time. Maybe I need to stack them back because, you know, I just. They've been getting a lot of bales they don't need, so they dropped the price quite a bit, so. And plus, I think they're still mad because of the disaster I had up here last time. That blue trailer. So, uh, we'll probably use that blue trailer for storage for the bales. Let's put them on there and leave them. Uh, and wait a while before we sell them again. Cause we, we got 354000 Um uh, Combine's about 125000 to 160 somewhere in there. That I'm wanting, so what am I driving this back for? Let's let somebody else drive it back. Um, let's see, store to farm, drive course, stop at the last, and let's see about this. Oh, yeah, stop driver, close, yes, and let's get the front one here all right folks um, that's gonna be this episode for this time around um, I really don't know what the next episodes con consist of um, I know I, I got finished mowing up there in the north uh, what is it northwest corner so way way over up there by 17. I uh, got to mow that and stuff, so I'm going to hit the big blue Ford tractor up on the disc and uh, get some things situated here, uh, trying to get things ready for uh, uh, wheat harvest also, so um, yeah, um, 
I'm going to try this mower out and see which one I like. So next time I come back, it'll be this one or that and over. We'll probably keep this one since it's small. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But anyway, folks, y'all have a, a wonderful day and stuff. Uh, thank you for watching and all your love and support and stuff. So be sure to like, share, and comment. And folks, I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. Later.